Here I am, it's Thursday night, and I am with Philippe Chang, Paul Grathos, John Dolan, who photographed my wedding when I got married. Hi, you guys are very, I'm just getting it in a good position. It's not as beautiful as what you guys would do. Um, but I've brought you to the true experts in photography, and I just wanted to just ask you guys what's inspiring you and any advice you would have to brides about getting, you know, picking their wedding photographer, or any direction for photography that you're that's inspiring you guys. Because I couldn't get uh, pick my wedding date till I knew these guys were available. So who's starting, John? I'll go for leave. I guess I just would want to say that. Uh, we all are image makers, and we photograph a lot of things beside wedding, besides weddings. And because our personal work is so personal, it does make us, I think, better wedding photographers because we see weddings in a much larger context. And so, for me, I always come back to weddings after photographing. My personal work, I feel so much more inspired. Over. I think it's the, the genuine raw emotions that are so incredible to photograph that to be at a wedding and take pictures is can be so rewarding and it's just kind of fulfilling and yeah, it's just a, a great thing to do. Uh, you know, I've always thought the wedding photographer is a much more important person at the wedding than you think. So it's easy to pick a wedding photographer because you like something, but you also have to like the person. You want, you want somebody at the wedding you're going to enjoy having near you the whole time. I did that. I'm not just saying that because you three are here and I love you guys. But I always say that, you know, ten years later, no one remembers that you had extra flowers on your reception table or, you know, an urn when you walked in. but you know, your wedding pictures are what you're going to have. Any other tips for brides about picking their photographer or what you guys are loving to do now with photography? Uh, you know, I shot my niece's wedding uh, uh, two weeks ago and she was the greatest bride I'd seen in a long time because she let go so quickly once her wedding started and she had the greatest time because she, she cut the cord as soon as the wedding started and just let it roll. And, I was impressed to see yeah. a 23 year old do that. That's good advice. And I guess my advice would be that you just gotta feel right about the images you see and don't, you know, like, they gotta speak to you. Yeah. Gotta... And hiring a photographer whose book you really like, not trying right. to change yeah. them and not right. thinking you're gonna direct them to do something right. that they don't do. Right. Yeah, look at the pictures and, and ask yourself, what are these pictures telling me? Just say, you know, not to be afraid to be passionate about who you are and what you want out of your wedding. And just to really seize the moment and live in the moment. Right. That's good advice. Well, I am one of the very, very lucky brides in this world to have pictures from you guys. So thank you. John Dolan. Is that an act? No. Oh. It looks like the church. Well, this was in Martha Stewart Weddings, the yes, very it was. first issue. I yes, love that was. picture. That's so beautiful. And this was, was this in Yep. And that was a Martha Stewart Wedding. <laughs> no wonder Martha Stewart Weddings is so beautiful. Because we have all John Bowen's pictures in it. <laughs> That's a fun picture. Where did you take that? Were you in the car behind them? No, I was chasing them. I was running, oh, running down the street. That's a, that's a wild ride. That's so fun. Is that an old picture? No. Yeah. And then... Uh, oh, there's Marcy. That's such a great picture. Oh, yeah. That was another, that was another Mark Street ride. Remember that one? <laughs> we oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's like fireworks, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes.
That's so fun. Oh, now this is a picture. I'm just joking, that's me. <laughs>